Have you ever craved fresh, gooey, homemade mozzarella cheese, but thought it was just too hard to make from scratch at home? What if I told you that in just a few simple steps and with the help of your Instant Pot, you can whip up creamy, delicious mozzarella cheese right in your kitchen. In today's video, I will show you how to transform just a few basic ingredients into a soft, delicious mozzarella cheese that will be mouth-watering and will elevate your pizza, salads, and snacks. Let's get started on this cheesy adventure. Here we are going to try to make this mozzarella cheese in my Instant Pot. I'm super excited if this works because we love cheese. I'm actually putting in an Azure Standard order soon and I'm going to order cheese there so I have cheese for the year. But if this works and I can make mozzarella, oh, I'm so excited. I can make mozzarella on the stove, but if this works, this looks so super simple. So I just poured in, I had it's milk pickup day tomorrow and I still had another half a gallon that I hadn't drank or processed. So I definitely wanted to use it up. So here I poured it in my Instapot and then I'm going to go to my yogurt setting on the Instapot. Now I could go ahead and just use this to make yogurt and then not make yogurt tomorrow, um, which is definitely okay, but I'm excited to try this mozzarella cheese. So let's see how it does. So we're gonna do this and then we're gonna get it to the boil setting, okay? And then I'm just gonna turn, which is really how we start our yogurt. So I'm just gonna start, go ahead, and I'm going to hit start. And now, once this does that three time beep again, I know it's done, it's heated, it's slow heat, so it's not gonna heat it super fast. When it's done to that, then we're gonna move on and add our other ingredients that will make it curdle into the cheese. So we will see you at that point. Okay, now it has finished the first part. So you can use your thermometer, you don't want it to be before below 165. I know that it's not because I just stopped it. So now I'm going to add in my two cups of buttermilk. This is cultured buttermilk. And then what I'm going to do is I am just going, ooh, that's nice and full. I am just going to stir this around a couple times. I'm using my cheese spoon. You can use whatever you want. So I'm going to stir it a couple times. And then, and then I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of lemon juice. So here's a quarter of a cup of lemon juice. This is what's gonna make it curdle. So this is the recipe not using rennet. When I do it on the stove, I use rennet. So I am just gonna stir this up a little bit. It should start curdling right away. And now what I'm gonna do oops, is I'm just gonna let this sit for about five minutes and then we will move on to straining it. After five minutes, I will come back. I'm gonna run out and feed the chickens and I'll come back in and we'll See how it's working from there. Give it another few minutes and here we have our curds and whey. And so what I'm gonna do is I've lined my bowl with cheesecloth here and I am going to, that looks like a lot. I may, I think I'm gonna get my other Instapot liner just cause I don't know that this bowl is gonna be, this is the one I usually use for my yogurt, but I don't know that it's, well, I, let me see. I'm gonna try to pour it in there. See what we get. Cause I like to save the whey and use it for fermenting the chicken food. So let's see what happens. Now I'm actually gonna go get my other Instapot liner. One second. All right, so I'm gonna use this other Instapot pan here because I know it will be big enough since that's what we used. Yes, I'm dirtying an extra pan, but I haven't run my dishwasher yet today, so. All right, so I'm just gonna dump this in and then I will let them strain. And then I have a cheese mold I'm gonna put it in, but you can use, you know, just like a cheese mold or you can use, you can form it into a ball, you can use cupcake tins, whatever works. But I'm gonna start with this and we're gonna strain it. And then I will salt it and put it in my form. So I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so this is so far what I got. I still have quite a bit in there. So I'm gonna let this drain and then I will add that in there and we will move on. 
So yes, I'm definitely glad I got the bigger pan. It's gonna take a little bit more here. So let's see this. Yeah, I can kinda maybe take some of this curds out and stick it in here with my cheese spoon. So far, I think this is working out pretty good. It was just milk, whole milk, some cultured buttermilk that I also used for my from my homemade dairy, and lemon juice in the Instant Pot. It's looking good, you guys. I've made mozzarella in the pan and I've stretched it. So we'll have to see if this turns out similar because this I don't think I'm going to be stretching this. So we'll see. I will link my cheese video below on how I made it. Um, the squirrel brain cheese one which seemed to be a big hit the video but I will link that one below. You can check it out. I'm going to let these kind of soak through for a while and uh, look at look at who's viewing me right here. Yeah, no, we don't let her up here, <laughs> but she's, she's thinking she can. <laughs> so anyway, we'll let this straight out and then we'll move on. All right, friends. So here is my cheese that I have been straining and I am going to put it right here in my cheese press. And then I'm going to stick it on my cheese block and put some weights on it. Now I haven't done this for a while, so I need to put it over something where, cause I know it's gonna continue to drain. So I'm gonna put this cheese press on something where I can continually let it drain. But so far it's still draining. It has a lot to do. So I'm gonna kind of squeeze the way out of this cheese and see where we can go. I hope it turns out, I'm not so sure about it, but you know what? It might be more of a farmer's cheese. We are going to see. So I'm going to set this up and I will show you what it looks like. All right. Wish me luck, everybody. Okay. Let's let see how this cheese works out. Okay. Let's see how this cheese turned out. Spoiler alert. It tastes amazing, but it's definitely very soft. Look at this not the prettiest <laughs> so and it's not you know I think I'm as far as I mean it, a quick easy cheese to make it tastes great but it's more the consistency of a farmer's cheese so I definitely I but it tastes like mozzarella so it's delicious uh so yeah you know I mean Am I going to make, if I want real mozzarella, I guess I like the mozzarella that I can stretch. But this tastes amazing. So this, I think I would use more on crackers and things like that. So I am going to divide this up and free, because I heard it freezes very well. So I'm going to freeze it, maybe put some herbs in part of it and use it as a, a cheese spread. So there you have it, everybody. Cheese in the Instapot. I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, I think I am going to watch my other cheese video. I'm getting dairy today, and I'm going to see if I'm going to make it that way again. I'll let you know. All right. Be blessed. Have a great day, and remember you're loved. Bye. <laughs>